Good afternoon, Jason Robinson here. Today I'm, I'm going to introduce you guys to RJG's Copilot system. This is the system that will hook up to your machine, monitor all the machine set points, monitor all the cavity pressure conditions as well. To give you an idea of the size of this thing, just in case you're wondering where it might fit on your machine, it's about eight and a half, nine inches wide, four and a half inches tall, and just a, about three inches thick. So in a nice durable case, um, on the back it has some connections. It has uh, two networking connections here, Cat5 connections, a power connection. It has two uh, what we call links ports. This is where all the data from all your sensors come in from the machine or the mold. Um, and some USB ports here. Now, and this thing can be mounted anywhere that's not warm. Anywhere away from heat, uh, it has a solid state hard drive, which helps the speed and um, also it, it does it, it's not as susceptible to vibrations. It's gonna use the same modules that you're used to using. If you've used our equipment in the past, we got the ID7, we have an OR2D module and an analog input module. It uses the same hydraulic gauge if you're using a hydraulic machine. If not, it'll use an analog input to grab the injection pressure. And then our, our, our standard uh, rotary encoder, we call the yo-yo, uh, the same one you've always seen and used, uh, all that same equipment hooks up to the new system here. So I'm gonna give you a little introductory tour of uh, the setup screens and ha how the Copilot functions. So let's take a look right now. So here's the uh, the setup screen for the, the Copilot. You can see right here on the screen we got, this is in a card format. Um, and by the way, I'm recording this recording this through a, a web web address. So this is how the um, the Copilot communicates with the hub, which is like the server collects all the data. And you can remote view this just like I am anywhere in your shop. Okay. So I got machine settings, mold settings. If we just take a peek at a few of these, we got the name of the machine, the screw diameter, the type of machine. Um, this one's already set up. Uh, we have the mold settings. So just showing you kind of how it works real quick. Uh, we have process, process settings are, um, oops, wrong button there. Uh, process settings would be things like your uh, cycle, standard cycle time, the material, um, things like that. Machine inputs, sorting outputs. Uh, on this, you have to set screw bottoms, that way it'll collect cushion that, uh, for you. The names of the cavities, uh, and this thing will do up to 32 cavities just fine, no problems, as many arms as you want. Um, got the mold details right here. Uh, basically the serial numbers of the actual cavity pressure sensors. And here's a setup summary. So all the different types of sensors you have in there. Um, yeah, and then, uh, the way we start this is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna pull this down right here, and it's got tells me which machine I'm running on. Uh, I can select as well uh, the, the mold number, mold name, and then the process. I just put my name in there because I like my name a lot. So let's hit start job, and now it's gonna sit there watch while I collect some data. So I'm gonna start the machine up right now. This is in a. 55 ton Toyo in the uh, Woodstock training facility um, running the, the the puzzle piece. If you've been here, you're going to recognize that name and recognize the part as well. So here's what the part looks like. If you've been to one of my classes, um, you probably had to deal with this part. So it's collecting some data here. After it gets one or two cycles, you're going to see how this guy starts up. So you what you hear, uh, the, the default setting is four screens here. We got four uh, cards, I guess, what we call them. The um, cycle graph, alarm, job overview, and summary. Um, I can pull this guy in the middle, the little thing in the middle, move it around. So I can make the cycle graph full screen if I want. So I hold my finger in the middle and touch it, and it's going to show me the value for each of the curves at any point in time. Okay. I can zoom in just by dragging your fingers apart. I'm doing it just like this on the screen, just like you would on your iPhone. Um, we can expand these out and see the names. 
if I want to just look at one of these curves, this is a really nice feature. But if I just want to look at the volume of the screw, I'm going to touch the volume button with my finger, um, and it'll highlight just the volume curve. If I want to look at another one, I just touch that one. Um, and of course, I can add and remove curves that are separated by machine or mold curves. Okay. And then as well, I can remove curves. Um, I got my trace cigarettes sequences down there. So there's injection four going off right here. Okay. So if I double tap that, if I you can't see me, but I'm just gonna double tap the middle of the screen with that one finger and it'll make that one full screen. If I double tap it, it goes back. Then I can do the summary graph. So the summary graph has a zoom bar at the top where I can zoom in and see all the data that I ran. I just started this job, so there's just a little bit here on the right hand corner. The other thing I can do is I can look at this job overview screen. So it's gonna give me basically a really quick snapshot of the machine. I got just some basic inputs and outputs, the cooling timer, the part, removable time, cycle time, pack and hold, fill, recovery, you name it, cushion. And I can set alarms around those as well. Now, if I want to change one of these to something different, I can hit the little the little blue square with the nine or 12 dots in it, hit that, and I can change it to something totally different. So I can pull up my V to P tab if you're going to do the couple three. I can make it a cavity fill time. This is a bar chart showing the cavity fill time for each of the four cavities. I let this run one more time to show you what happens. Well, it happens really quick. Let's do it on something different. Let's do peak end of cavity pressure. So the, there you see the where the peak used to be, the light bar, and you see the cavity pressure decay. So there's the peak cavity pressure, and now it's dropping back down. I'm going to go here and create a template. I'm going to load the template and say done. So now there's my template. And the new thing here, it shows the template value down on the sequence traces, on the machine sequences down at the bottom. So if your hold time changes, you'll see it not only on your second graph, but down on the, the machine sequence as well. So let's go back to the peak. So now the template value is shown on the peak bar chart here. So the dotted line is where it should be, and we see where it's actually at. If I go over here and change the old pressure, you'll see it go down a little bit. So this thing is super sleek, super fast. Um, so there I lower my whole pressure and you see the peak pressure and you see that it's below the template value at the top. Yeah, this thing moves really quick. Um, does everything you need to do. Let's see, what else do we have here? We got alarms, we got, um, we could put up notes. Any notes that were on the summary graph would be on here. You can put up two cycle graphs if you want. So I can put Certain curves on one cycle graph and other curves on another cycle graph. In case you got a lot of different curves to look at and look at adding them all at once can you know be a bit confusing. So you can put some on the machine curves on one graph and maybe uh, cavity pressure curves on the other. And again, this is all from my laptop. I'm looking this on the web browser. Um, and if they're networked into your, your company network, you can use this from any, any PC that has access and permission provided by your IT department to go to this. This particular you know, the, the IP address is up in there on top of my uh, address bar. All right, so we're gonna do a series of these videos. Um, we're gonna do more specific ones, um, how to set up a job. I'll walk you through how to set the job, the mold up. Another one, maybe how to set the, the mold up. 
and uh, maybe I'll do a D3 on one. If you guys have any any um, comments that you'd like to, or topics you'd like to see on the Copilot system, please put them down in the comment section. Uh, looking forward to talking to you guys again, and uh, you guys have a good week.